Welcome to another episode of Project Dirty Willy. In this episode, we're going to install some trailer wiring. Like I said, in this episode, we're going to install some trailer wiring. You can get this from a bunch of different companies. Uh, this actually came from Rugged Ridge. It came with the receiver hitch that we installed a long, long time ago on Project Dirty Willy. We just never actually installed the wiring harness. So uh, today I'm gonna show you how to install this wiring harness. And like I said, you can get it from a bunch of different companies. Um, you can get it by itself. You don't have to buy you know, the receiver hitch or anything like that. Uh, but most of the time, if you have a receiver hitch, you've already got the wiring. Or if you're buying a receiver hitch, it comes with the wiring. Either way, I'm gonna show you how to install this. And it's really, really easy. It's just plug and play. So uh, we'll just get right into it. So our first step is going to be to remove the tail light. Uh, we have these metal tail light guards on here, so uh, you may not have this step, but if you do, they're just the reverse of how you installed them. Now that we have the guard off, we're going to remove the tail light. And to remove the tail light, it's uh, pretty much exactly the same thing as I just did to remove the guard, is just removing your four screws here. And then you're just gonna pull straight out on your tail light. Rotate it over so you can see your plug here. And you'll see here, you can press in on this little tab. You have to press pretty hard. And then you can remove your tail light. Oh, and don't forget about this extra little side piece that's gonna fall off of there. Now that we're over here at the workbench, we're going to take our tail light, and then we are going to remove this plug. It's just held on with a Christmas tree clip. We're actually gonna take this plug and just rotate it, and snap it on down here. We're going to take our new plug and snap it on in just the same way that the original one was. Take our other gray plug, the last plug remaining other than our trailer wiring on this harness, and we're going to install this into our original plug that we just relocated, and then we can take this back over to the Jeep. Now back over here at the Jeep, we're gonna take our trailer harness. We're gonna pass in here down through this hole, I'll get you a better view here once I get it started. Okay, you know, hopefully you can see that it's passed down through there. And you'll actually be able to reach around over here inside your wheel well and pull it the rest of the way down. Take our tail light and our original tail light wire and plug it in to our new harness till it clicks and then get all of this stuff tucked back in here we've got our tail light back on now all we have to do is put our screws back in you can see down in here where the wire came out and all i did was pass it over top of the frame And you're going to have to take some zip ties and find different spots to secure it. The harness itself comes with little push pin like Christmas tree style clips, but um, I'm not exactly sure where they intend you to put those because I've only found I think one spot that actually lines up. So the rest of them are kind of, I don't want to say useless, but in my application they kind of are. Now that we have our wire down here, I don't have it zip tied or anything yet. Um, I'm going to go back through and do that because I've got a little bit more work to do under here. But um, as I was saying, these little push pins, they uh, are supposed to be lining up with some spots throughout the frame and underneath, but in my case, none of them have, well, one of them has, but it's not lined up enough to where it actually holds anything securely. So I'm gonna have to use zip ties. You may luck out and be able to use these, but your last step is to come over here. And if your plug is set up like this, it will, snap into place on your receiver. 
and then you have your trailer wiring. Like I said, this was just a simple plug and play installation. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this little short video. Um, if you were putting on your hitch receiver and needed to know how to do the wiring, that's pretty much how it's done. If you came across this video and you're not one of my subscribers or you're new to the channel, make sure to go into my channel, check out a couple other different videos. I've got all kinds of different stuff in there. Um, you can see all the different build stuff on this Jeep, which is Project Dirty Willy. You can see some of the build stuff on another project Jeep. We have uh, Project Renegade, and we have all kinds of different how-tos and DIY videos. So go in there and check out a couple videos. If you find a video that you like, hit the like button. If you have something to say, leave it down in the comments. And if you find a couple videos that you like, don't forget to subscribe to my channel.